This is the Farina uh, Montecorna Rapasso from um, Valpolicella in Italy. Um, Rapasso is a close cousin of Amarone. This is the 2005 vintage that we're tasting here. Close cousin of Amarone. Um, it goes through a second uh, fermentation on, on the skins of, of Amarone. After Amarone's gone through the first fermentation, the wine is taken off and the skins are left. This stuff is, is then, it's a young wine, and it's actually then re-fermented on those Amarone skins. So the result is, tends to be a lot more richness, a lot more flavor is added, a lot more concentration. They're big wines, this is my style of wine, so I love getting into something like this. Now, it's actually quite light bodied, but you've got a, a, you do have a, a real dark richness, lovely dark, intense brick red color, although it is quite light in body, I can see clearly through the, through the glass. On the nose, uh, First thing I get is a bit of coffee. There's black fruit in there, but there's a there's a big big waft of herbal as well. I'm getting there's a touch of mint. It's massively intense and tons going on. And again, it's so rich and concentrated. You can just sniff it all day long. Little bit of so even with a touch of, of cigar box in there as well. That's that's just delightful. Now right, there we go. Now, a big gripping acidity. There's an element of, of, of drying tannins in there. Again, you've got double skins in there, so it's quite dry. But that, you know, just complements everything. It's it's the structure that it gives. So you get lovely intense. There's 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 ripe black fruit in there, but there's also dried fruit like like uh, uh, figs and raisins. It's developing into more herbal stuff now. Massive length, um, and a little. Um, like a, a tea maria finish there's almost a sweetness to that finish that isn't quite coffee it's not as bitter as coffee but there's definitely that coffee flavor to it it's absolutely delightful i love these wines they're they're big they're intense they're powerful they make the most sublime food accompaniments to anything like a hearty stew anything tomato based anything with a red meat absolutely divine so it's a top wine. Um, I would drink this easy on its own as well. Some people might need it need it for, for a food wine, but absolutely top notch. It's one of my favourites in the warehouse, but again, that's just my style. But um, well worth a look. If you, if you like Italian wine and you're looking for, for the, kind of the next step up into, into big, powerful Italian, try the Rapasso.